Hey everybody, it's Meredith Miller with Inner Integration, helping you recover after relationships with psychopaths, narcissists, sociopaths, and other manipulative characters. Today, the message I wanna to bring to you is about self-love upgrade, which is kind of coming along with an ego upgrade. This is really the flow in the cosmos right now, and I really wanted to let you know about this because it's the pattern that I keep seeing across the board. It's really important right now to speak up for what you think and what you feel. Last week I did a video on self-sabotage and one of the ways that we self-sabotage ourselves is to not speak up for ourselves, to not say those things that we need to say. It's a way of not being in integrity with ourselves. It's a way of not being in alignment with who we really are. And then we go on over time and it's like, you know, we make peace in the moment by not speaking up, by not saying the controversial stuff, by avoiding those topics. And it's like that peace lasts for a moment, but then down the road, what happens is there's this long-term falling apart of relationships and blow-ups and everything because it's all coming out. It's really better just to get that stuff out. Right now, it's just really important to do that in general so you can be in alignment with who you are. Stop swallowing it to make the peace in the moment. Think about being uncomfortable in the moment, talking about the real stuff, talking about your real feelings, talking about your real opinions, in order to create a long-term peace in your life. When you reveal who you are, you find out who your real tribe is. If you feel like you don't really belong anywhere and this and that, you don't really feel at home with relationships, with groups of friends, at work, you need to speak up for yourself. You need to reveal more of who you are in the world because you will see naturally who is attracted to you and who is repelled from you. You will see what's not working. And that's really important right now during this Venus retrograde in Aries is to find out what's not working. Right now as we're kind of reevaluating our sense of identity, the ego identity, the personality, the character that we play in the world, as well as a self-love upgrade on our identity because that's a big part of who we are. The way that we love ourselves is the way that other people treat us, right? So that's also part of our identity just in a different way. So it's important to ask the questions, who are you? What do you stand for? And what do you really want? So maybe you want to stop the video right now, pause it, get out a piece of paper, notebook, write down these questions and start asking yourself. Maybe you want to wait till the end of the video, but I really recommend that you do this now as soon as possible to really evaluate what it is that you really want. If you're feeling confused right now, like confused about relationships, confused about what you want, confused about your projects, your work, your friendships, whatever is going on in your life, what that means is that you are not in alignment with yourself. There's some illusion happening in your life. So it's important to ask yourself, where is that illusion? What are you not listening to? What don't you want to listen to? Where would you rather believe in that illusion of what things are? Or where would you rather believe in someone's potential versus what you actually see in front of you? This is really, really important right now to be asking these questions because if you aren't honest with yourself, if you're deceiving yourself and you're hoping and dreaming that it's going to be a different way, you know, work or a project or relationship or even your relationship with yourself and how you show up in the world, you keep hoping for that. What's going to happen is you're deceiving yourself. You're lying to yourself. You're betraying yourself. And then the world around you is going to respond by betraying you. People are going to betray you. People are going to let you down. People are going to deceive you. People are going to lie to you because you're lying to yourself. The start of self-love is self-honesty. You got to get honest with yourself. You got to get honest about the stuff that you don't want to see. You know, when the conflict is exposed, like when you speak up for yourself, when you express your true feelings, your true thoughts, that's when that conflict is exposed. And then you can see it for what it really is. And there's no more confusion. The confusion is because you're lying to yourself in some way. You're not listening to inner guidance. You're not in integrity with yourself. You're compromising something either because you want people to like you, you want to be accepted, or you want to believe in the potential of something, or you just want to keep trying 
trying to make this thing work that's not working. It's really important to notice right now what's not working. I'm sure it's coming up. You might have felt the breakdown this week. You might feel the breakdown going into this weekend. You might have been more proactive. You might have been like, ooh, earlier this week, that's not gonna work for me. And you might have taken steps in the direction to rectify that, to get back in alignment, to get back in integrity with yourself. If you haven't done that, chances are you're going to have a bit of a breakdown and then a breakthrough. The breakthrough is going to come after that stuff is exposed and you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that old pattern is not working. I need to actually use this new pattern in my life. I need to change my habits. I need to change the way I interact with other people. I need to change the way I interact with myself and I own my integrity and my alignment and I stand up and stand for what I really believe in. So that's the message I have for you today. I hope you really take some time to reflect on these topics. This is the cosmic flow right now. Whether you believe in astrology or not, you're probably feeling this at some level because it's affecting us all. This is really a wonderful time to take advantage of this energy to upgrade your self-love, to recognize what's not working, to change that ego identity. The ego is not evil. The ego is not bad. You don't want to kill the ego. If you kill the ego entirely, you become schizophrenic. You lose the kite string to reality. You can no longer identify the separation. Like We live in this 3D world where there is a sense of separation. My body feels solid even though it's 99.9999. 99.9999% space. Same with the sofa, same with the table. But the reality is that we are all interconnected, right, at some level. However, that ego in this 3D reality is absolutely important to create that sense of separation so that you know what's you and what's someone else. When you get into a relationship and things are coming up, you have to be able to recognize what's you and what's someone else. A schizophrenic can't do that. They lose the boundary of self and other. That's why they're very confused. They hear lots of voices. They don't know what's real. They don't know what's them. So you don't want to kill the ego. You want to tame the ego. You want to train the ego like a dog. You want to pay attention when it's misbehaving, when it's acting out. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, okay, I'm not paying attention to that thing. I need to pay attention to that. I need to change that habit. I need to change that behavior. I need to improve my character in the way that I show up in the world. This is the Aries transit. It's the upgrade of the self, that self-identity, the ego identity. So I wish you all the best in this transit and I hope that you stay in alignment with yourself, that you make those decisions while they might be hard sometimes, they might be very challenging decisions, make the decisions to be in alignment with yourself, to remove the things from your life that are not in alignment with yourself, that are not in integrity. Could be patterns, could be habits, could be projects, could be other people and relationships. What is it that's not working? Move that stuff out of your life. Upgrade yourself and your behaviors, your outlook on life, so you can upgrade your sense of self-love. I'm sending you a big hug.